Good evening, National Ones, and welcome to Northern England Asylum. More specifically, welcome to one of the more beautiful and stunning areas of the Dark Souls series, Anna Londo. I'm GRJ Wyatt, and I'm joined as ever by my esteemed cohort, Wilton Ravello. Now, this week on Northern England Asylum, we've got a pretty special episode for you, and I'm going to let Wilson himself explain. Time is very convoluted in the Dark Souls series, so we thought we would roll back time ourselves to two weeks ago, where we got the chance to sit down with our very good friend, John Van Cleef. Now, John Van Cleef is an ex-television presenter, but we managed to summon him to be our quiz master. Yes, Northern Under the Asylum has filmed their very own quiz. This is the weakest. Firelink? Yeah. Roll tape. We can't be asking questions about Dark Souls. Our contestants this week are. Um, but in the spirit of British quiz television. Oh, yes. yeah. uh, okay, uh, so I am uh, GRJ Dwyer. I'm 34 years old. And I'm from Manchester. I am a failed promoter. Uh, now sending to DJ in clubs uh, and booking small shows and events. I cohabit and I'm not the best at Dark Souls but I'm quite good at football. <coughs> nice. And yourself? Uh, I suppose I'm Wilson, uh, once 28, now 29, uh, ex-semi-professional musician, um, currently looking to fit windows around the, the Manchester area. Hammer test, mark two of hard glass. Okay, you know. And And now she decides to pop. Dirty girl. It's called tough and glass, this. It only pops when you, when you drop it. Took it out and dropped it. Now it's broke. I've decided because I feel so special I'm going to give you one more lesson today So when you've taken sash out at frame that needs stripping too You need to get rid of glass possibly handles and maybe hinges I've got one technique that will save you a lot of time It's going to require two hands as well So I'll put this here You take a standard sash out of a frame look best thing to do, you get it there, you get it there, you get it about there, and you pop, and you pop, and one more. That is how you strip a frame, ladies and gentlemen. What? Um, come on, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at Dark Souls. Pretty. Not really good, but, you know, I think that'll do. And your platinum doll free. Not yet. it has got one more to go. And the winner tonight will get this brass trophy melted down from some plates I stole from a Nana's house. <laughs> I have here ten sad questions for two sad bastards. <laughs> Question number one. Who is the only available summon for Gwyn, Lord of Cinder? What was that? That was my buzzer sound. What was my sound like? Try it out. Alright, probably better than that. 
I'm going to answer this question, uh, <coughs> and I'm going to answer it quite honestly. Seeing as I've not got there yet, my probable summon, and the only summon that I'll have is my steam co-host, <laughs> Pathetic. Um, is it rolled over to me? Uh, I suppose I'll start this, because I have reached Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, and it happens to be... Solaire of Astora. Um, the answer is Solari uh, Ace. Solari of Ace. A Store. A Store. Solaire, yeah. Did you look at the quiz question? Oh, yeah, that's a point. <laughs> as, as if I haven't got enough of a you know, down hand in this already. You're now looking quite square. I, I was being fair then, though. I was fair pointing enough. out a sp a the fact that you've got a host that can't read. He was cheap, but I know he wasn't cheap at all. Anyway. Okay, one point. Number two. What boss is an amalgamation of his family members? <coughs> what boss is an amalgamation of his family members? Who is the most incestual so boss? now you're giving me clues. No. <laughs> I'll get... I'll just... Brainstorming out loud. <laughs> If I had to guess, from my time down, finding on the way to the tomb of the giants, there was a failed necromancer who managed to jam his, his kid and his wife into his, his body. And I think that's where you're edging with this one. I'm going to say pinwheel. Mm. Nice. The answer is... No, that's all to it. Pinwheel. Comments on this. Wonder why he's even on shore. <laughs> <laughs> the show. <clears throat> you know, there's probably no point in now introducing this, which was supposed to be for me to take the trophy home, of which it doesn't probably fit. <laughs> this is my uh, lucky bum bag that I take on holiday and everywhere that I go. Um, this wards off robbers mm -hmm. by the fact that they feel that they may be molested. <coughs> In return for their bad habits. Homophobic robbers. <laughs> I might as well show my uh, my trinket. This is this is a wet floor sign, and I uh, basically brought it to you know wipe the floor with everyone. <laughs> Stop booing! <laughs> right, that's us Name the enemies you face on the bridge to Cleric Beast. I'm in my element here. Cleric Beast, Bloodborne, bridge before you get to Cleric Beast. On, yeah. on a bridge. On a bridge. Not right. at the side of it or underneath it, but on the bridge. On the bridge. bridge. To Cleric you can't Beast. Go underneath the bridge. Anyway, yeah. so. Um, there is two stray dogs. That looks, yeah, two stray dogs. There is a quite hench wrestling looker looking uh, troll that probably did once live under the bridge. Mm. There's an axe <coughs> man. If that's not really right, is it? Axe man. Mm. And there's some pigeons that have gone rabid and are now pecking at 
they're quite nuisance. They're nuisances throughout the entire of World Born, so they're quite memorable. Yeah. They also scared the bejesus out of them. <laughs> so, just everything, they're so aggressive. Like a Karen. Yeah. <laughs> um, getting at you. Uh, but yeah, I'll go for that. That's my answer. I will, I will give you that. Yeah. The answer was two wolves, a brick troll, Good troll. three crows, <coughs> and villager with a scythe. A scythe. Scythe. Yeah. I it does have a scythe. Skeeve. I was called a skeeve, but it's scythe, isn't it? The burial blade is a skeeve. <coughs> skeeve. Um, it's funny you didn't mention that the, the brick troll looks like Alec Baldwin. He does look a lot like Alec Baldwin. I think they, do, they generally do. Do I get extra points <clears> for <throat> the fact that I answered all four right? No. 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 Just one point. For a bonus point, though, what three things should you not do to a Baldwin? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, okay, so you should always be closing if you were the. You can't smoke in here, mate. <clears throat> Why is he smoking? He's oh, smoking. Now he's fucking. He's yep. taking the fag out in the Guinness. Yeah. You can't smoke in here. Sorry. <clears throat> he's alright. You could. You actually sound like you should give up the fags as well, mate. Yeah, well, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, one, so if you always, then um, you should never, you should always be opening, mm -hmm. uh, you should never call a Baldwin, well you should never ask a Baldwin if he's related to Ken Baldwin, <laughs> Ken Baldwin. Mike Baldwin, Mike Baldwin, Mike Baldwin. So Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike Baldwin from Coronation Street. Big shout out. Uh, yeah. 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 Don't think he died in the show, I think. I don't think he's going to get any better. She ran off, didn't she? No, he ran off and yeah, she didn't did. come, did she? Oh, well then. Um, Choked on some <clears> knickers. <throat> he was chewing from the knicker factory. I saw got that. That's a inspiration for that Kate okay, Beckinsale series of atrocities really in the world, yeah. weren't it? Oh. Um, third thing you should never do to a Baldwin is you should never put another Baldwin. Put another Baldwin in a film with another Baldwin. With another Baldwin. Well, yeah, you should never put Baldwin in another film with another Baldwin because then they'd be called the, it'd be called Baldwin. <laughs> it's in, in itself absolutely genius. It is. It's not correct. I do agree, but not correct. The answers are. You should never feed a Baldwin after midnight. <laughs> you should never get a Baldwin wet. And you should never twist the right nipple of a Baldwin. <laughs> Works like one of those machines where you put a penny in and you twist it. It falls out of a Baldwin's ass. <laughs> See? Unless you are after cheap plastic toys, don't twist the Baldwin's nipple. What happens if you do? You get a cheap plastic toy. Mel Gibson turns out and turns into a nipple twisting part. <laughs> okay. Question number four. <clears throat> this is a fairly easy one. Mm -hmm. What is the prank? The prank starting gift in Dark Souls 1. Um, I think it, Miyazaki has referred to this in a few interviews. Anyone who uh, likes to s spend late nights searching <coughs> from soft <coughs> where he's like this at the bookies and all. Um, yeah, I'm going to get you the money. I'm going to get you the money. I'm on a job now. I'm in the big time. They're gonna, they're gonna pay me. Once I get paid, you'll get paid. No, leave me knees. Leave me knees. I need me knees. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna, I'll get you the money. Please. You done? Question, question number five. What Japanese anime show 
play's biggest inspiration to the series? Uh, I can answer that one. Yeah. That would be Berserk. Berserk would be the correct answer. <laughs> Question number six. Which armour was inspired by the titular? Titular Berserk character. I've not got there yet. Mm. But I do know this the answer to <laughs> the question. I know. <coughs> do you want to answer, ask that again? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Which armour was inspired by the titular? Um, that would be I've not actually got there yet mm. but I'm quite a fan of the show Berserk yeah uh, and it is I forgot the answer I haven't forgot the answer it's I'll give you a clue it sounds like arse walker <laughs> Is it one of the Abyss Watchers, but like mm. in the first game? Um, Not Abyss Watcher, but. The Abyss Watchers all hail somebody. Astora, no. Hmm? Astora? The Abyss Watcher? Thank you. Thank you it's Notorious The Abyss Watcher. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice. Grudgy Weir. Grudgy Weir. Grudgy Weir. Is that Chinese? Chinese, is it? <coughs> Fucking is it hell. Is Chinese? No. Yeah, Jerry Dwyer. Yeah. Okay. When you're ready. <laughs> Just checking your Facebook there, mate, yeah? Yes, yeah. Yeah, welcome back. Um, just want to say uh, an apology um, to the contestant, uh, J, sorry, G R J Dwyer. Uh, it's a name, he's not, he's not Chinese. <coughs> anyway, uh, moving on. Question number seven. After fighting the pursuer, how would you access the lost master? Nice. Keep up, man. Nice. Uh, need to keep up. Uh, Dark Souls 2, back in the game now. Obviously a little bit pumped up. Uh, pumped up, eh? <coughs> yeah. Go on, answer. Yep. Yeah. So after fighting. All right, I'll let you finish. Huh? The pursuer, Dark Souls Two. Yeah. Can you finish the question, please? How would you access the lost uh, Bastille? Bastille. Um, that would Still be. Still your jacket on for. <laughs> Cover up them bitch arms. <laughs> <laughs> After the show, yeah? After the show. Bold Eagle takes you to the Wrong. last deal. <laughs> right. Question. It was right. Number eight. It was right. It, you get the point. The Eagle picks you up like an Uber and takes you across to the last last deal. Pass it over to. Um, Eagle Uber? Correct. Correct. <laughs> Question number eight. Moving on. How many MPCs does it take to populate Medulla? How many MPCs 
does it take to populate Medulla? <coughs> Off the top of my head, the woman with the string bra, there's a... The waifu. The waifus. There's a couple of waifus knocking them out. Mm -hmm. There's a, a guy from the Blue Sentinels, maybe. Mm -hmm. There's um, the... the um, the 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 armorer, mm -hmm. the guy who sells the and cat, pussy, yeah. Who played played by an incredibly extremely famous actress now. Um, I'm gonna say eight, eight. Uh, um. <laughs> Higher or lower? Seven. Seven Thanks. questions from seven people. Quite the theme running through the show. Seven quid for this guy. Um, can seven quid? <laughs> we'll speak. Not being serious. Move on. You've signed your, uh, your form. <laughs> um, for a bonus point, can you name them? The seven NPCs? No. The Medulla Cat. What's she called? We're not that great at Dark Souls, man. Why did you do? Why did you even come up with this section? Where did you get in from? Told you. This has gone really bad. He goes to the bookies. And the bookies. Everyone talks about him in the pool. Um, I can, we can't name them. We'll move on. Is one of them a Baldwin? <laughs> Question number nine. Which divisive Dark Souls 2 character do you find dead in Dark Souls 3? <laughs> Who actually smiths ladders? What a peculiar job that is when you think about it. Maybe he's trying to make his way up the ladder to a better character. Strong or metaphor. A better game. <laughs> I actually, can we just, obviously, because the comments will be running now that I should not be on the show. Uh, for a little bit more heat, Dark Souls 2 is my favourite game out of the three It's great. Is that the bonus point? On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do we love Dark Souls 2? Um, for a bonus point, which one of you will lend me a bit of money? It's covered. Yeah. Expense is covered. Yeah. yeah. That's I'll take the point, yeah. No amount of editing is going to get, make this back. <laughs> it's back. I have to redo the whole thing. <laughs> Episode one. I, um, I believe the point is equal at this point. Um, this, question, yeah. this is a tie. Uh, break. Yeah. Already had one of them in this show. <coughs> question number two. Name the two black hands in Dark Souls 3. The twin swords, what are the twin swords called? There's Y-hander. No, the twin swords. It's two, what are they called? The, what the... Got <laughs> <laughs> uh. hard. And the other one. Spirit me and then we tie. What? Whisper me and then we tie. Can't be right. I can't I did what he said. Take it. Can you lie? No, because it'll be wrong. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can you lie? Can you lie? Kamui. <laughs> and got time. There you go. He got time. He got hard. He did get it hard in the. Uh... 
in the in the uh, grand. So I do believe we have a time. Does it have to be settled? Nothing can be left unsettled. Like your debt. <coughs> in this realm, Wilson. <laughs> to break the tie. I propose. The suspense is killing me. He's going to drop dead. I propose. A camel race. <laughs> one man, one camel. Where are we going to get a camel from? 100 get a donkey meters. From Blackpool. Mm. I don't think you can anymore. Do you not? I think so. Winner Ooh. takes all. Camel race. Or we can call it a tie. Right, I know how to settle this. Okay. <sighs> Welcome back to the weakest filing. I'm your host, Sean Van Queef, and I'm here with tonight's winner, Wilson. The sole loser has taken his graphics, taken his lights, and taken his nameplate. But the show must go on. Wilson, congratulations. There's your trophy. Thank you very much. Um, not, a, not a bit of victory at all. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to ring him, actually, yeah. you know. Yeah. And here's my trophy. <laughs> I'm Jean Van Cuyff. No one ruffles my fucking feathers. Good night. Hello and welcome to Northern Undead Asylum. I'm GRJ Dwyer and this is... <laughs> okay. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, what was it? I forgot. <laughs> you Go start, on. one. Go! <clears throat> right, now you start. You, know, you do one more, I've got a good one. Okay. Good evening, <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Northern Ireland. <laughs> Chance to sit down with John Van Queef. Now, Va Von, John, uh, John Van, Van. Queef. Van. Fuck John off. Van Queef. John Van Queef. Yeah. Right. Sam. Go. Time is very convoluted in the Dark Souls series, and that's why we went and back and made a seventies porno. <laughs> T time is very convoluted in the Dark Souls series, that's why we rolled back time ourselves to two weeks ago. Veeks, Veeks, Von Van Jeeks, fucking. I don't even like Dark Souls. Oh. Yeah. Good evening and welcome to Northern Undead Asylum. I'm GRJ anyway. Damn, he ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3! <laughs> Good evening, I'm GRJ Dwyer and this is my esteemed co host, Wilson Rebello. Welcome. Time is very convoluted in the Dark Souls series, and that's why we rolled all the way back until ancient times and we became trees. Actually, ferns. <laughs> yeah. I've got a joke for you. Do you know what my favourite Dark Souls series game is? Go on. Dark Souls Tree! <laughs> Caught! Dark Souls! Dark Souls! Oh, there could be high star little with me! Dark Souls! Dark Souls! Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Northern Undead Asylum!